Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I am the founder of WiseUp and in my past few videos, I have spoken at length about the use of AI tools for research writing. In this video, I am going to deep dive into one such AI tool, Jenny AI and show you step by step how you can utilize it for research writing. So without further delay, let's get started. So now say for example, you have to write a research proposal for masters or PhD abroad or you are writing a research paper and you have no idea what should be the topic. Now usually identifying a research topic which is novel and no previous research has been done on it can itself take you a few weeks to say the least. However, now with the help of the AI tool Jenny, you can really cut short this process and arrive at a research topic in your area of interest. All you need to do is log into your Jenny account, head to the AI chat feature and type there give me research topic ideas on your area of interest. For example, in my case it is give me research topic ideas on super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics. And there you go, a bunch of amazing topics will pop up. Here all you need to do is a bit of literature survey and you will have that novel research topic with you in no time. Now that you're doing your literature survey, you can utilize the help of Jenny to understand the paper better. For that, simply upload the paper in the library, then head to the AI chat feature and you will see that the paper opens in a separate window. Now here you can ask important questions to that paper. For example, I am looking to write a paper on durability of super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics. What are some insights from this paper that will give me more clarity on this? Or how can the arguments made in this paper be applied to the use of nanoparticles in making these kind of fabrics? Now the questions that I've asked here are very specific to my research area but what I'm trying to tell you here is that you can ask really in-depth questions to Jenny and it will look for the answer from that paper and give it to you which usually we might not be able to find when we read the paper on our own. Similarly, there are so many other useful prompts that you can use which I have listed it down in this document and I'm going to be sharing the link to this in the description below for you. Now that we have our research topic in place and literature review in place, it's time to start writing. But before that, I would recommend that you upload all your important literature papers in the library. This will help you refer to them while you're writing and also cite them while you write. You can also ask Jenny to give you suggestions on what needs to be written based on the papers that you have uploaded. So now when you start writing, I would highly recommend that you try to write the document first in your style of writing. This will at least help you visualize the content and what is the information that is going to go in your research proposal or research paper. Later on, you can further refine the content with the help of Jenny to make it more academic or professional. Here you have a bunch of AI commands that you can use to improve the overall text. For example, fluency, paraphrase, simplify, make longer, etc. Or you can also give very specific prompts to Jenny as well. For example, propose a better structure for rewriting what I've already written so that the reader can better follow the flow of my arguments. Or, I'm struggling with the transition between these two paragraphs. Can you suggest a smoother transition that enhances the flow? Or, all my sentences seem to start the same way in this text. Help me rephrase this one to start differently. These kind of prompts can tailor the content in exactly the way you want without making the text too much AI generated. Now while writing, feel free to cite the content that you write. For this, there are three different ways how you can do that. First is that you can cite the papers directly from the library that you've uploaded. Another scenario is that sometimes we write a lot of lines but we don't have the relevant literature to support that evidence. So in that case what you can do is also cite the papers by searching them online. So here all you need to do is simply select the lines for which you need to cite the paper, go to cite, choose the discover feature and then Jenny is going to find a bunch of relevant papers for you that support that argument. You can simply cite it. Otherwise, the third option is where you can insert a custom citation as well by entering all the details. 
once you've added the citation you will see a references section also appears at the bottom and later on if you want to change the citation style from APA, MLA, Harvard, IEEE, Chicago you can easily do that as well with the help of Jenny you can literally get all this work done in one place and you don't even need a reference manager once you're done writing you can easily export it into latex html or word document and in this way you would have written a research paper or research proposal faster and more efficiently the best part about jenny is that all these features come at a super affordable price and i've also put a discount coupon in the description which will help you save further so guys that's all i wanted to share with you today Hope this video has given you a good understanding of how to use Jenny step by step for your research writing. Now if you wish to learn in detail how to write a research paper then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. Not only do I teach you from scratch how to write a research paper but I also share with you a bunch of AI tools that you can utilize to make this process easier. To know more the link is in the description. And now, don't forget to use Jenny and check out all its features. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below and I will answer them for you. And now, thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic research journey ahead.